This is clip number 15 about building my John Smith Busker organ. Work uh, progresses and uh, after a bit of a break at uh, building I'm back at work and uh, so far I have accomplished some uh, progress and what you can see in the main picture there is the pressure box of the organ and uh, I've finished now the lid of the pressure box in which I have put plastic not glass which would have been nicer but I was worried that glass if it got broken uh, would uh, um, do serious damage to the interior mechanism so I've put uh, plastic there with a bit of picture framing around it glued in simply with a thick coating of crystal araldite glue the same inside the same outside I think that must be a pretty airtight seal so the lid is finished and I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with that now but uh, it will be varnished possibly a stained uh, and maybe even possibly painted but at the moment the structure is finished I've put uh, a strengthening uh, rod around the edge of the pressure box lid which makes a slightly raised lip so in theory that gives me a nice airtight seal on the pressure box that's a real closed tight and I will put some extra sealing around the edge of the pressure box uh, lid so that's done it needs to be hinged and have a support which I'll make out of some sort of bit of wood there um, inside I have made the side cheeks that support the uh, the, the role of music, the tune to be uh, played with a slightly raised peg to put the roll in when it's rewind time so they've had strengthening strips added to them uh, the drive wheel has been made the idler wheel has been made with its um, groove and I've now added the drive band, a drive belt which is made from rubber available from a sewing machine shop and you can buy this rubber for next to nothing in meter length strips cut the length you need uh, turn it into a loop and you heat the ends with a lighter and push the ends together just simply melt the ends to, uh, together and that gives you a drive for belt so that's the drive mechanism the idler wheel and the drive for the main spool of the machine it's made I've made an extra bracket that was missing uh, that's incorporated in the John Smith plans, an extra bracket to hold some bushings or bearings for the main uh, crank. The reservoir is more or less complete now and uh, what you can see on the reservoir is the spill valve which I've enjoyed uh, making and as time goes by on the project I find that uh, I'm uh, half of me wants to rush and the other half of me wants to take time and make these bits beautiful, even the bits that won't be seen when the organ is uh, finished, these are the internal bits but that's the spill valve which is there to stop the reservoir exploding when it reaches full uh, capacity so when the reservoir leather is stretched and can't stretch any further this lever hits a notch and opens and that releases air from inside the box it's a flap with a hole and uh, that's uh, um, a little piece of wood with a wing nut to hold down the spring just made a bent piano wire and I'll put that on with the wing nuts so it can be removed and I can change the spring if I need to in case the tension is too um, too high so the reservoir has been made and then I have got round to piercing the bellow boards the top of the bellow boards are drilled as are the uh, bottom of the bellow boards on the far right there so I've been working on the spool and again I thought the spool would be the simplest thing to make but actually it's got to be made very accurately so it runs straight inside the uh, organ and so it's taken me a, a bit of time yesterday afternoon to, to make and I think about I made a little wooden frame out of a ply uh, that's been carefully uh, drilled on a very straight axis and uh, a bit of cardboard roll and this uh, wooden frame is going to slide into the cardboard tube it's a, a tight fit but it goes it's just it's pretty um, tight but it's it's an, a nice fit with nothing being forced or nothing stretched it slips in there nicely and the tube keeps its 
round shape and uh, then uh, the ends of the spool will go on need to match them up obviously and uh, there's two spool ends and uh, I will put a little brass screw which you can see everything on there in the middle the head of course mustn't stick out further than the round of the spool ready to clip the music on and so the spool will go in the uh, box with its uh, drive wheel on the edge to drive the busker and uh, the other job that I have done is to make a bracket simply by uh, passing this uh, a, a band of uh, plywood over the blade of my circular saw to gouge out I could have used the router but the circular saw is good if you set the height the depth gauge and uh, just route out the bit of wood and uh, this uh, strip is going to be cut into little thin sections to go behind the pipes to act as a pipe bracket and uh, how that works is that uh, I'll cut a little thin strip there's a pipe you can see the hole at the back hole which I can blow through and uh, a little thin strip of that will be glued onto the back of the pipe cut to width the hole drilled through again and then that gives me the clip so that can clip onto the back of the pipe board so uh, we're getting there but there's uh, a lot more work to uh, do so uh, as I'm motivated and uh, back at work another clip will be coming uh, soon the more um, lovely things I see on the net uh, beautifully uh, made as I look at different uh, YouTube films of different uh, makers uh, the more it makes me realize I need to spend the time and not be in such a hurry so having uh, made my uh, spool wheel and cut it from a rather grotty piece of uh, old cardboard tube I decided that I need to make it look ha more handsome so I found some very uh, lovely papers there's a really nice quality thick card Canson paper and uh, I'm going to uh, uh, glue uh, this around the, the tube and uh, fold it over the ends and cut the, the hole and tuck that round the uh, inside before my putting my wooden insert so uh, that's uh, going to take me even longer but uh, it will look so much nicer once it's uh, done so let me just put some glue on the end of the paper roll there where I've cut paper to little tongues so it will glue over the edge let's make sure I don't get dirty fingers on the roll and spoil it just fold those over then I've got the same thing to do with with the central hole where the little screw is going to go I have a little bit of glue there but I can clean up the pencil rubber afterwards so that's done and then I just uh, squish that down nicely and those uh, ends will be hidden by and glued inside the wooden roller and that uh, already looks a lot better than that scruffy bit of cardboard that I had earlier on I can leave that down nicely after the so that's the roller got the hole to do in the middle so um, there's the hole cut and the little tabs made that you can see inside so with a long brush a bit of glue put those tabs down crease those into a nice curved edge and that will be my roll tidy, white and clean, much nicer than that um, horrible old bit of cardboard I had earlier on so I'll get that glued so there you can see the spool the little frame that's going to go inside the small the spool that will run on the 6mm um, central bar and uh, when I insert the wooden part it will the screw hole will look a bit scruffy so I've just prepared a little bit of the same colored card 
to glue on the top there before I insert that and put in the screw. And so there is the finished spool with its screw designed especially to catch the music rule on its little hook once the organ is ready to play. So the main spool is now waiting for its ends and its central axle and it will be ready to put in the pressure box. So that took me longer than I thought but I'm pleased with the result. It looks more handsome than I'd initially thought I'd bother to make it, I suppose. So there you are.